Hi guys, Darth Deuces here with another video, and today we're taking a look at my top 10 Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figures. I've done this countdown before, uh, it's been a while, and so I want to do an update to it for a while, and I just kind of want to talk about The Vintage Collection because obviously it's come back, and it's been back for two years, which is a little hard to believe because it feels like we haven't gotten very many new figures because we haven't. Um, but the Vintage Collection, uh, Star Wars figures, is where I started collecting, really. You know, before that, I was more into other things. I collected the odd action figure here and there, but Star Wars The Vintage Collection was where I really started collecting back in 2010 on to uh, 2011, 2012, and then beyond, obviously. Um, so every once in a while, I want to update the list um, just to keep giving recognition to the Vintage Collection because in my opinion it is pretty much the pinnacle of three and three quarter inch Star Wars figures and pretty much the pinnacle of Star Wars figures in general. Um, the modern, the most current Six Inch Black series kind of gives it a run for its money but uh, the previous stuff for the photo for reel not so much. Anyways in front of you here these are not part of the list these are my honorable mentions as you probably could have guessed um, and I could have filled the honorable mentions with tons and tons of figures, um, but I had to pick a few. And these are just a few that I just want to give recognition to. But there's so many other good ones, like, uh, I couldn't even tell you. And obviously this list is my opinion. These are my personal favorites. These are not objective in any way whatsoever. Um, and then for figures to be on the list, I have to own them, obviously. Um, and then they have to have just been released in some capacity in the vintage collection, been on the vintage collection card or whatever in some capacity. So that can be repacks from previous lines that got repacked in the Vintage Collection. I still count those. Um, Black Series 3 quarter inch figures that were originally released in the Vintage Collection. As long as there wasn't any major changes to the characters or the sculpts or it wasn't repainted or whatever, then I count those as well. And I'll talk about those when I get to those uh, figures. But here we got four uh, honorable mentions here. Um, just really quickly, this is the uh, deleted scenes. Get my light here. This is the deleted scene of the lightsaber construction Luke. He's really cool. He's my favorite Luke Skywalker figure for a while. Um, he's been dethroned now because I have like the SH figure where it's and Black Series and all that stuff. But uh, he's really good. He's got great articulation, a bunch of accessories, a good head sculpt and paint for the time, which I think still holds up pretty well. It's a great figure. Uh, if I was to stand here, a little pain has to stand sometimes. So these figures is because they don't have pivot. All right, then next up, this is a very more recent from just last year. This is the uh, Shadow Stormtrooper from the revival of the Vintage Collection, and this kind of counts any figure that uses this storm new Stormtrooper mold. This new Stormtrooper mold is amazing. Um, as you see, I have it carded back there as well. I might open that eventually. I'm not sure because I wouldn't mind having two of these loose, but uh, I really like that card back. It looks really good, so it keeps on card for now. Um, this mold is amazing. I have it as this and the Mandalorian uh, Imperial Remnant Trooper I have in this mold as well. I missed out there on the Rogue One figure and I never saw them in Band 1 uh, in stores because we never get Walmart exclusive Star Wars figures up here. So I kind of never even had a chance on that one. But this is an amazing figure. The Shadow one's definitely my favorite out of the two that I own. It looks fantastic. And it's a solid, solid figure that they can definitely reuse a ton of times if they want to. This one's actually a recent purchase I got recently, loose on eBay. Um, just a shout out in general to the uh, clone troopers from the vintage collection. You know, they have their issues. The helmets are a little big, and then the head underneath, while well, they look decent enough, are a little small. Um, they come with good accessories. The fact they have the roll of helmets is cool. They come with a couple of blasters. Our tea is really good. They're a little lanky, but they still look really good. And the 501st is my favorite Legion. So I actually got two of these loose recently. So to finally have these in the vintage collection, really happy to have those. And then another figure here is the Django Fett, uh, which I believe is a kind of a remold, reuse of previous line Django Fett figures, but it's really good. Again, you got great paint, a wash on the belt, which looks amazing. Articulation's great. He's got a ton of accessory, you know, remove the helmet. Um, you have the Tamora Morse head underneath, which I think looks pretty good, considering there's no printing. Uh, you can remove the missile, has a little fire trail there, that's a really cool feature they didn't have to do. Pistols, which can go in the holsters. It comes with the Sokka's poncho and the little uh, head communication thing. Um, just solid. But anyways, i stop talking about the honorable uh, mentions or four minutes already, let's get into the actual list. 
All right, now let's get the show on the road here. I think I'll pace it a little bit. So first off, at number 10, we have the Death Trooper. I'm gonna put down the camera a little bit. And this guy actually was originally released in the Three and the Quarters Black Series line, but he got a complete, just re-straight up repack in the vintage collection, which is where I got my a couple of figures, a little hair there, um, where I got my couple of blacks of the vintage collection Death Troopers. And I actually like this Three and the Quarters version more than the six inch one. And I like the six inch one a lot, but they just did a better job. So I think the sculpt and the proportions on this one's done a little better. Articulation's comparable, not quite as good, but still pretty good. Um, accessories are better. It doesn't come with this big gun, but it comes with the pistol and the Death Trooper rifle. And it actually comes with the specialist gear, which you can take off and have the option of either having the specialist or the standard trooper, which the six inch one didn't give you that option. You had to get a separate three pack of two figures. You probably didn't really want to get the specialist. So. Yeah, I really like this one. It's a really good one. And uh, we'll put them in the back right here. So that is number 10. Number 9 um, is this guy right here. It is the uh, Realistic Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. This figure is really awesome. Um, I love the color blue that they wanted this lightsaber. It's quite a deep, vibrant blue. Head sculpt and paint is really good for not being face printed. He's got this nice sturdiness to the armor. Articulation's really good. Uh, it's an awesome figure. Um, I really like this look for Obi-Wan, and I love getting realistic versions of Clone, Clone Wars and animated characters. So this figure's really cool. And he is actually getting a re-release this year on the finished card again, but this time he's going to have face printing. Uh, unless I find it carded, I'm probably not going to pick that up because I don't think the face printing's going to do that much to be an up worth and the, uh, the upgrade, but... Uh, for people who missed out, it's going to be awesome. Alright, next up, another figure that's actually getting re released this year. It is the Phantom Menace Darth Maul. Uh, this thing's outside of the Hot Toys figure is actually still my favorite Darth Maul figure I have. It's just so well done. Superb articulation and sculpt. The head sculpt and paint is done so well. Can't really see too well because of the hood. But that's also another thing I really like, that they went with the plastic hood, but a soft goods robe. Soft goods robe allows for articulation, and the sculpted hood allows it to look a lot better, and it just looks absolutely phenomenal. I love the look of that. Comes with a bunch of accessories, the lightsaber that splits in the two, the binoculars, uh, lightsaber hilt, unlit lightsaber hilt. Man. Solid, solid figure. So he is, what's this, uh, 10, 9, 8, that was number 8. At number seven, this is technically the uh, Black Series, not technically, this is the Black Series uh, 3 and the quarter re release, but it's just a straight up repack. It is the uh, uh, Vader's Apprentice from Force Unleashed 2. Never got that original vintage collection figure. That whole wave was basically non existent in stores, at least around here. Never saw that wave, uh, and I never ended up getting the Shave as Love figure, which I really want to get. Um, this figure is really good. The sculpt and paint is, for well, paint for the most part, but sculpt is really well done. Looks like, pretty much like him from the game. You get a bunch of accessories, unlit lightsaber hilts, lit lightsabers, and you get basically two-in-one figure with removable armor pieces and whatnot to either make it look like the flight suit or give him the, I can't remember what the Jedi armor or whatever this armor was, but uh, very cool and good articulation makes this a really solid figure. Oh, almost knocked over them all there. At number six, this is another Black Series re-release, which was an interesting figure because uh, I can't remember how it worked. I don't know if it well, got re-released, but I don't know if it got an official release. It's the uh, Old Republic uh, Trooper. This is an awesome figure. I got mine loose on eBay a year or so ago. Um, but it got a repack in the Black Series, in that orange card back, but never got a worldwide release. It like only got released in like Italy or something like that. I don't really remember the whole story on that. If you know it, then let me know the backstory on that. Um, but it never got a full worldwide release regardless, um, only in certain places. And uh, But it's a really awesome figure. I was released in the Vintage Collection. Um, it's just a repack of that figure, and I'm super happy to actually own this one. Because this was a grail of mine for a while. And it's an awesome figure. The paint and sculpted the detail of the trooper. This design in general looks awesome. I love the design of this guy. It's bulky. He's got gear and weapons and everything everywhere. 
Um, you can remove the helmet, and he's got pretty good head sculpt, which is very cool. He's got the big cannon. You got a little knife that you can take out of the sheath, uh, which is cool. You got pistol on the side. You could actually remove the ammo clip here, and you can remove the sheath. And if you wanted to switch it up, you could put the sheath on the front and put the ammo on the side, or whatever you wanted to do. So switch it up if you were lucky enough to army build these guys. They're not cheap now, but this is another amazing release. And one of my favorites. So that's the first five. We're down to the uh, bottom top five now. So next up is a really recent figure. One of the most recent, I would say. And this is the Mandalorian. Um, you know, Mando's quickly become one of my favorite characters. I have the 6-inch Black Series version, I have the Beskar SH Figure Arts one on pre-order, and I have the Hot Toys version of this one on pre-order. Um, and the Vintage Collection one's really good, awesome card back. I'm trying to get a second one to uh, keep carded. I have one pre-order in a big toy store that's been pushed back months and months now. But uh, amazing figure, great articulation, looks fantastic. Um, good accessory, you know, got the pistol and you can store it in the holster. You got the rifle that actually plugs into his back and like the 6-inch one. Um, just a solid release. Not much else to say about this one. I'll put him over. I'll knock him over. Put him over there. Next up, uh, this is the Revenge of the Sith Wave, Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader, depending on which variant of card you got him. I actually got the Darth Vader variant card. I believe there's like three versions of the card back. You get a standard Anakin Skywalker nameplate card, a standard nameplate Darth Vader card, and you could also get the card back foiled. So, uh, but this is an insanely good figure. I picked it up recently. It's been on the shelf for a while. I haven't messed with it much lately, and I picked it up recently to take some photos of it. And it's just a really well done figure. The soft goods robe actually fits decently well in the figure, and if you fit over the hood enough, you can actually get it to sit on his head. Uh, the head sculpt is amazing. Maybe not 100% accurate, but it is really good. And you've got those Sith eyes, which are painted so well. And the paint in the hair looks really good. He's got the uh, arm or hand molded to be force choking. He's got the lightsabers, great articulation. Uh, super solid uh, figure from the Vintage Collection. Absolutely love this. This is potentially my favorite Anakin figure in my collection, which I don't own a ton, but I do have the SH figures. I might still like this one more. Not sure. Uh, that's number four. And number three, I've got a figure that I like a lot for multiple reasons. We've got the uh, Boba Fett figure from the very first wave. Uh, in very many ways, this is the figure that first got me into collecting action figures seriously. Um, this is the first vintage collection figure I ever bought. Um, it's got a lot of sentimental value because my grandmother got this for me and she's not with us anymore. Uh, she's been she passed away a while ago, um, but it's a nice, you know, reminder of her, keep me in, keep her in my thoughts and all that. Um, and <laughs> kind of thanks to her in some ways, I got into collecting action figures more seriously. Well, I should thank her off for that. Uh, who knows? Uh, that's just a joke, of course. Um, I'm grateful for that um, because I love this hobby. I love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, this figure, even that without all this you know, sentimental stuff, uh, super solid figure, great articulation, paint is really good, sculpt's pretty good for the most part. You know, the helmet's not quite 100%, but it's still really good. You can remove the helmet, remove the jetpack, you've got the blaster, you got the little pistol and the holster. You literally only issue I have with this figure, well, the cape's a little kind of big, and then the backpack or the jetpack doesn't plug in super tightly. It likes to fall off pretty easily. Aside from that, super good figure. Uh, absolutely love it. And that's also getting a re-release. <laughs> Or has been re-released. Like, don't remember if that's actually released yet. And number two, we have Captain Fordo, which I recently switched back to his Phase One armor because I displayed him in his Phase Two for a while. So I thought it's time to switch it up. But I absolutely love the Tartakovsky series. Um, awesome Clone Wars series. You know, I love the new stuff, but I will always love the old stuff even more. Uh, and Fordo is probably my favorite clone. Uh, probably. A, you know, Delta Squad gives him a run for his money, but outside of that, probably my favorite clone trooper. And the figure itself is amazing. It uses that vintage collection mold. Unfortunately, mine's yellow. It's starting to yellow just a little bit. I'm hoping that's not getting worse. He's a little dirty. Um, but aside from that, it was awesome that he comes with the all the accessories to make either uh, the Phase 1 or the Phase 2 look, which is awesome. Articulation's amazing. Um, he has a unique head sculpt. Yeah, take off the helmet. He's got this little, like, 
goatee and different hairstyle going on, which I think looks really good. He's got this, like, grimace going on. It's fucking cool, man. Uh, pardon my French, but it's fucking cool. And, uh, yeah, it's a great figure. Not much else to say. And then last but not least, my most favorite uh, vintage collection figure uh, is Darth Malgus from the Old Republic. I am a big Sith person when it comes to Star Wars figure collecting and the Three and the Corners collecting. Sith were my main thing to collect, my favorite things to collect. I still am missing a bunch of them. I would love to track down at some point, but who knows if they'll ever happen because they're really expensive for Three and the Corners figures. But Malgus is awesome. Great articulation. I really like the character. Um, the design, the sculpt and paint of this figure is amazing. It came with that overcloak that the little wire in it, which was pretty cool. And this was the only other vintage collection figure besides that Shout Trooper. I actually bothered to get a second one of, so I have them carded as well. And it's just an amazing figure. I think there's not much else to say. Just absolutely awesome. So that is my video. This went a lot longer than I kind of want it to be, but that's okay. Because uh, I want to talk about uh, one of my favorite figure lines ever. So take the time to talk about it. I want to try to kind of put out some more videos, make some more interesting videos. I want to do a collection tour very soon. I'm waiting on like one thing to come in the mail. And once that one thing comes in the mail, which might be this week, but it's taking forever. So it might not be this week. Uh, whenever that comes in, I will finally be doing a full or pretty much full collection tour. So stay tuned for that. Um, but let me know what you think of the Vintage Collection. What are your favorite figures from Vintage Collection line? I'd love to know. And aside from that, thank you guys for watching. Always appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed, and may the force be with you.